I was in the tower overlooking the beach when the call came in. On thy lifeguards, good morning. Whoa. Huh? We need to get down to North Corner. Someone's attacked another human. It was a really panicked mum and she was just yelling down the phone, there's a man that's been attacked. How old is this guy that's all bloodied up? That's, that's a police job. In his 30s, all right. Jules gets the call and she says someone's in a fight up at the northern end of Bondi Beach. I know straight away that's a police matter. Police, thank you. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I've got to go. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, so uh, someone just hit. Like, some guys came yeah, we're on the cops now. Bondi, thank you, thank you very much. Bondi, uh, it's at the northern end of the beach, I think. Near the ice cream van. Right next to the ice cream van. Information comes in that weapons were used in the attack. I wanted to leave this incident for the police to handle. Then Jules starts relaying the information that this guy's been quite injured. There was a weapon on the end of the stick. Is he, he's conscious, is he? Yeah. He's conscious? But he's not good. He's not, he's not good. And I knew that I had to get down to North Bondi to assist this man. Bondi's lifeguards have never encountered violence like this before. See a massive crowd of people. I felt shocked. That sort of violence, you just, you don't expect it ever. Run. It's one of those jobs, even when you're off duty, you're on duty. And Jake was down here and he gave me a hand. Is he on the ground still? Amongst shocked beachgoers, lifeguards find a seriously injured man lying on the concrete. When we got there, it was a pretty, um, pretty gruesome scene. There was just blood everywhere. People were in shock, seeing a man on the ground and, and bystanders were actually just holding his head. Like deep breaths, matey. It was quite a large gash. He needed advanced medical care. So it's it's open in three spots. Yep. And I'm just, I'm just holding it together. Um, is he knocked yeah, out at any stage? No, he's a shit. He's okay. He hasn't, okay. He hasn't been let's get some worried. let's get some oxygen on him. He hasn't been uh, oh, Just stay there. Just relax. Five men, all using weapons, ganged up on this man. It was unbelievable. Like I've never seen anything like that. We had just come out of the water and we just like saw everybody jump up on the grass and then we saw two guys. They had massive weapons. Like. One was huge, like, yeah, like, like terrifyingly big. To like he would have done enough damage like with his fist, let alone like a pole yeah. with a like it had like a rusty hook on it. They just yeah. didn't care. They I I'm still shaking. As paramedics stabilized the injured man, police set up a crime scene. This is really a dog act. This bloke's been mauled up here at North Bondi. And, you know, we've got children everywhere. And this, this poor guy's life, you know, he nearly lost it. He's it's, it's so lucky. In my 20 years, I, yeah, I've seen stinks down on the beach. And this is the worst thing I've seen in, in the way of an attack down on Bondi Beach. The police investigation is underway to find the attackers.